Team Keilani. My name is Hawaiian and I'm not Hawaiian, so a lot of Hawaiians get mad at me all the time. They're like, you're so fake, you're a fake Hawaiian, you're not Hawaiian, blah, 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 blah. You know, but hey, it happens. So, I'm black, white, Native American, and Behind it all, you are the motive. Don't tell you enough, but baby, I'll show it, show it. When you. They say a child who's changing their image all the time is consistently going through it, you know, when, like when a girl gets her heart broken and she dyes her hair a billion times and cuts all her hair off and changes her wardrobe, you know what I'm saying? People do things like that to cope. I didn't, I was struggling with my sexuality, I was struggling with what I looked like, I was struggling with feeling like, there was a point where, you know, nobody thought I was cute, nobody liked me, nobody had a crush on me, and as a, growing up as a girl, you know, you're like, you want at least somebody to be interested in you at some point, you know, so I just started getting tatted, not for anybody else's pleasure, but I'm like, okay, let, let me let me turn myself into what I want to be. Yeah, yeah that's what Cloud 19 is. It's just a, a, a project that was just from pure emotion and pure feeling and just wanting to say something important and leaving people with the message rather than just here's a bunch of tracks I threw together. Rain is good for the soul. Crazy how I feel the most warm when it's cold. I'm from Oakland, California. It's a cool melting pot. The artistic environment is ridiculous. You're lucky if you make it out of there, you know? So I think that makes everybody really like going above and beyond with what as far as what they're doing to get out of there. Got this notepad where you laid your head We used to go round and round Making love in my bed We were in so deep We could barely dread But now I found a You know, rather, rather than sit in it I try to turn all the stories into a learning experience Rather than like my heartbreak songs are more of well, that like, Yeah yeah, you're, you're tied. Like, you got it on your own type stuff rather than, oh my god, I'm so heartbroken. Like, I want to kill my love. When I was little, and my mom's just been doing her thing, you know, all that. Ma had me since I was about maybe two months or something, three months like that. To realize we needed I started dancing first, so I was a dancer. I wanted to be a ballerina, like I wanted to go to Juilliard. And then I got a knee injury, couldn't really dance anymore, so I started singing. So when I started exploring it, it was like, okay, this feels really good. This feels like a lot better than like anything I've ever done in the session. The second day we worked on it, we really started to get the routine down and really have fun with it. Little did we know that Kaylani was rehearsing for her tour in the same studio. Her, we were so shocked that we just kept dancing. And Kaylani started singing along and dancing with us. It was so cool. Um, when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of neo soul R&B. Like that's pretty much it. My auntie was very sweet, so all we listened to was like a lot of really powerful women, and then a lot of love music. You know, R&B and neo soul is just all love music, and it was when people weren't afraid to just make love songs. You know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kaylani, for stopping by. Selfie. Yeah. Uh. Kaylani.
from nothing yeah. Had to start hustling Had to be something You just had to be stunting Now that is mama Cause she couldn't buy Jordans what? His mama was poor Yet yeah, she could never afford it Never afford it do anything oh. yeah, Well my first mentor actually was Dwayne Wiggins And he was in Tony 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 And his sons went to my art school So he's like my dad's over there Like can you sing to him? I'm like, what? And I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm nervous. I'm thinking people, like, don't judge me right now. Like, just know I can get better. And then he was like, yeah, come to come to band practice. My band's called Papa. We were named after the Prince song. How you guys doing? Good. What's the name of the act? Pop Life. We are Pop Life. We're a young band from Oakland, California. Let's see what you got. I want to be a billionaire. So freaking bad. One day we're at band practice and Dwayne comes in and he's just like, so I got a cool, like, something to tell you guys. You guys have an audition for a Got Talent TV show. We're just like, oh, okay, cool. And what went down in the first audition was like the craziest thing that ever happened to me. But at the end, um, we were finalists. We got to perform with Stevie Wonder. At that point, we was like, you know, whatever happens tomorrow, whoever wins, who loses, we do not care. We just performed with like all of our idols. That's my favorite male singer of all time. So I joined this rap group. Totally wasn't my thing. Went back to the Bay, made uh, my first couple tracks. And then I get another call and it's Nick. And he's just like, yo, I get your vision now. You know, I get it. I understand it. Like. You're not meant to be a rapper. You are not meant to be in a rap group. Let me know what you need. And um, I told him, you know, give me a couch in studio time. Because at that point I was, you know, couch hopping. I was couch hopping slash homeless for a while. And so that man saved my life, you know, undoubtedly. I owe everything to him at the there are many observations we can make, but the conclusion we have come to here at Tsunami Research Group is niggas are going to always be niggas. Yeah. Um, being openly bisexual is like probably one of the most liberating things I feel like is about me because I'm so open about it. Like it's, it's, I don't care. You fall in love with a person's mind, you fall in love with a person's soul, not whatever's down there. <laughs> you know how I do. Today's the first day of tour. We in this motherfucker. We in, <laughs> we in Chi Town, Chicago. Can we make some noise for Kanye one time? I'm nervous. Takes me a lot to admit that because I'm a hard ass, but I'm nervous, man. My mixtape is coming out in the spring, and um, it's called YSBH. You should be here. And I'm really excited. Cloud 19 was just a compilation of like. Really nice, sweet love song, you know, because at that time I was like in a really sweet love song inside this mindset. But you know, now I'm like been through a little bit more, I've seen a little bit more, I've grown up a little bit more. And just even in the short time frame since I made Cloud 19, my whole life is completely big. I'm back. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Don't wanna see no tweets about the night we shared. Don't wanna hear. Welcome to the bay, it's the land of the brill. The home of the honest, the home of no chill. And we don't take no L's, we just run up the bills. Leave a fuck nigga on this hill. Never seen a scraper on less than doors. Never seen a hater with a sex at the club. Young car breaker, but the world show me love. Only at the paper, gotta get it while I'm young. Steph Curry for the win, boy. And I'm Curry with the pimp, 